Here we go, back again with another video. It's just a short video today to chat about the ownership situation at this moment in time. There's a lot of rumour mill, the rumour mill's spinning round ferociously at this moment in time out there and, and, and names are being banded around left, right and centre about Donald Duck, Methvin, Sam and Pants and Sartori, Sly Sartori, should we call him at the moment, about them selling their shares now. Is this true or is this just rumours going around to appease the fans to keep off us off Donald Duck and Methvin Salmon Panthers back. But yes, of course, if you just want to hear pure facts, if you want to hear pure facts, then don't watch this video. This is only speculation of the rumours that I've heard. And if you don't like speculation, you don't like rumours, then all you've got to do now is switch the off button and disappear. Otherwise, keep on joining in and watching in on this video. Yes, I got my words all mumbled up already, haven't I? Mumbly jumbly already up. Yes, so like I said before, it's just a rumour. One of the names banded around out there, it's been announced over the weekend and it's been popping up all over, is a guy called John Reese. Yes, a guy called John Reese. And there is a very good article on SB Nation. On, you can go online. And a guy called Davy Brown 37 has a good article on John Reese. Get on there and read it. Very good website. Very good, very good article indeed. And yeah, well put together. But John Reese will cut the bits down to the shortness. Sunderland born. He was born in Sunderland. He's 65 years of age. And he works for a company called. Why well, he works for company? He's a financial director in EOS. He was one of the 500th richest people in the world with a net worth of 5.8 billion. That's, that's dollars, but 4.9 million pounds. Cambridge educated financial accountant lives in Switzerland at this moment in time. He earned his wealth through the Swiss energy, chemical and manufacturing giants, Ineos. Ineos, Ineos have their own Grenadier, don't we? We've got a 4 before Grenadier and Ineos have also sponsored I think it's Formula One Mercedes in the past. So they are a very wealthy and rich company. Now this John Reese, like I said, apparently he's a big Sunderland fan. A big Sunderland fan. He's one of the one of the top executives since joining this accountancy consultancy firm. He joined Ineos through, I think it was was Price Waterhouse Coopers in the year 2000. Now, John Reese. Like I said, born in Sunderland, big Sunderland fan, lives in Switzerland. But there is another guy who owns two thirds. He owns two thirds of Ineos and he's called Jim Ratcliffe. You may have heard of Jim Ratcliffe before. He's a shy guy, but he's had links with Bayern Manchester United. The county's a Manchester United fan. He's had links in Bayern Chelsea and he did look at Newcastle at some point. So this guy, is the CEO at Ineos, CEO Ineos Chemical Group, which was founded back in 1998, and he owns two thirds of this wealthy business. He was described in 2018 as the richest man in the UK with a net worth of 21.5 billion pounds. Back in 2020, he became the 55th richest person in the world and only the second richest in the UK. Now. In 2020, he moved from Hampshire for tax residency. He moved from Hampshire to Monaco to save four billion pounds a year. And he has two super yachts called the Hampshire One and the Hampshire Two. So yes, Jim Ratcliffe, he's been looking into buying Chelsea. There was there was when I think it was when was it was when that um, Roman Abramovich had to sell had to sell. He was one of the people in there trying to buy Chelsea. That's what I'm led to believe. And him with ties to John Rees. John Rees could, could have persuaded him to come to a sleeping giant like Sunderland. Now, I said before, the only rumours, the only rumours, because we do want rid of Stuart Donald, Charlie Methven, Simon Pants, and, and Juan Sartori. But Sartori, the jury's out. I said before, the jury's out with him and KLD. Now, there's no way, I don't think there's no way KLD's going to spend a lot of money if these two, specifically these two, are here. We need these two and somebody else with wealth to come in as well to sort of equal up the wealth with KLD. And th the likes of Jim Ratcliffe and John Reese have got more money, more financial clout than KLD. But 
If these two guys only bought Donald's share, which is about 34%, and Redfin's share, which is about 5%, they wouldn't be the majority shareholders. It would be, you know, whoever Sartori aligns up with, but is Sartori, are they going to try and buy his shares as well and become the majority, the majority shareholder? Now, for whatever reason, we think, I've heard that KLD doesn't want to buy all of Sunderland and, and sort of be tied down at a young age at this moment in time. So have you heard any rumours out there? Does this make sense? Because for me, John Rees, it does that. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. And this Jim Ratcliffe, he could be tempted to bring Jim Ratcliffe in for his financial clout to buy Sunderland. And also, I've also heard that they do not want to stay in the championship if they buy Sunderland for very very long so they'd want to put money into the club want to buy some good players and get out of the championship as quick as possible now this would be absolutely fantastic for me i'll be over the moon if this is a situation i really would i'd be i mean apparently it's also it's close there's, there's people out there and there's, there's different parts different websites different different groups saying it's very close to completion now how fast does it take to buy somebody's shares, I thought it took quite a while. Now, what's your opinion? What's your opinion out there? Are you happy with the situation? Would you be over the moon with these two guys from Ineos coming in? One lives at Monaco, one lives in Switzerland, but they've got good ties and apparently they really are good friends. So for me, I think it would be an absolutely fantastic move for these two gadgets to come in and to get rid of those three gadgets. It will be over the moon. Yes, it will be over the moon. So there we go. Leave your comments down below. I told you it'd be a short one. Leave your comments down below. I think I think Ineos has also been are they, are they sponsored what used to be the Sky Cycling the Sky Cycling team. And they've, they've sponsored one or two. I forget who else is sponsored as well. But there we go. Pop onto the website, the SB Nation. I'll tell you down here somewhere. I'll have a quick look. I'll read a little bit out for you. Ineos is a brand you might have seen sponsoring a variety of sporting events including the Formula One Mercedes team, the New Zealand rugby team, and the flagship British professional cycling team, cycling team, which was formerly known as Team Sky. Team Sky, so there we go. There's a lot of information on, on there. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video to let you know what I think is going on. And we, we might be seeing new ones very shortly because for me, the club cannot go any further forward at this moment in time with the owners that are at the club. We cannot go any further. I'm sorry, but I don't think Kale Day will spend a lot of money at the club, especially when we've got Donald and Methvin there. So we need to move on. And the only way we need to move on, the only way we're going to be able to move on is to get rich owners in, to get rid of Stuart Donald and Charlie Methvin. They've had the day, they've had the time, they've had the, you know, the day in the sun. It's time to say goodbye, move on. And hopefully it's happening. Hopefully it's happening. So there we go. I just hope it's true. And give us your thoughts down below in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe channel. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be absolutely buzzing if this happens. Absolutely buzzing. It'll be the icing on the cake after a great, great season. Well, you know, I didn't call League One a great season. But yeah, promotion, that's good. Winning at Wembley, absolutely fantastic. So there you go. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll see you later. Bye.